Alrighty, this is the final part. I have 24 minutes on my phone. Ivan, this is a sick video. Yeah, you, you better enjoy this series, Boys of Gamma, because once I'm king, I'm taking my wife. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna what? I'm gonna make that amazing Zanies movie, and what? Peter and them will be saved, and you're, they're lucky, and you're left behind. You're not saved, world. You're gonna pay his price, and you're gonna, Peter and them are gonna be, Peter, Peter and my stars are all gonna be part of my amazing movie. I already tied up demons and devils, yeah. You guys are all left behind, you're not saved. You can say that. You may be paid, you're also gonna pay too. Say that. You made me pay, you're also gonna pay too. Is there? Yeah. Yeah, but hence why I told you the Zanus documentary will be the best documentary out of all my documentaries. Because you're gonna see the behind the scenes of me, Peter, and like, and like, what I'm holding toward, we're doing the cause arts and the nice scratch muzzle prop, you know what I'm saying? And what? And we, they, we, we the, John Howland and them, they draw all the demonic beings, man. They draw the, the world building is interesting. You're gonna see the amazing world building of the North and the South. Pictures, you remember, remember Pandora? You know how you had that planet? Of, you had that planet of Pandora. Yeah, think, think of a fantasy world like that for Lord of, for, for Xanus. It's a fantasy prehistoric world. You have the South that's cursed and the animal king, the animal kingdom. And the animals live there. And you have the North that's holy terrain and the humans live there. And the animal kingdom is cursed and all the demonic beings live there. The demonic wolves, the demonic bats live in the mountains in the, in the city. And the Southerns live in the South. And the South is cursed. And you have the wild crows and you have air attacks crows with the spies of the south they talk imagine having talking crows man that talk man look an amazing movie yeah man you were yeah i mean i read your book man and you're looking at it yeah i can see your movie beating out my lord of the shows yes <laughs> zayas will beat out the pre of the shows by some margin don't be close though be very very close it'll be very very close obviously that's why Zanus will be the... Even though I'm excited for the Great Escape and the Matrix trilogy, you know what I'm saying? I'm not... I'm most excited for the Zanus' is a unique story. Except it'll be cool seeing me... The only thing I'm more excited about... The, more, the only thing I'm more excited about for the Great Escape or the Matrix is that it's cooler seeing me in those movies. Because I'm in the modern time kicking ass. I speak modern English. Whereas Zanus, I'm in a fast world speaking old old English style speech. Like the actors in Lord of the Rings. I'm saying. But like in terms of the story and the buzz, man, Zanus is where it's at, man. And you're looking at demons and devils for Zanus, man. Like, walking devils and demons. That's why Zanus will have the best documentary out of all my documentaries. Out of all my movies. The Great Escape documentary will be good. Their Unique will be good. But they're not going to be as good as the, 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 the Zanus documentary. As a, because for Zanus, I'm creating the fantasy world of the North and the South. Like, Peter, even though I want to create the world of the North and the South, I don't want it to be a planet. Peter, John Farrell, this me, Ivan, have you ever thought of having a planet? Like a planet? And I'm like, no, John. I don't want there to be a planet. No. It's like Middle Earth. It's like Middle Earth, you don't see any planet, right? But you but you have a world called Middle Earth. Yeah. I'm not a fan of the planet stuff. No. Just, just the movie starts off. You get the sunset and you're in the north. And you have the north and you have the south. That's the world building of my book. Very simple. You have the north, which is the upper lands. And you have the south, which is the lower lands. Ivan, what is the North called? The, the, the North is the Upper Lands. It's the Upper Lands, and it's known as the North. And the South is the Lower Lands. It's known as the South. But the Southerns call it the South, and the Northerns call the North the, the North. They don't call it the Upper Lands and the Lower Lands. They mention it. They, they, the, the, the Northerns and Southerns know that the North is the Upper Lands, obviously, and the South is the Lower Lands, but they call it the South. They call it the South. The southern lands, they call it the north, the northern lands. Or they call it Zanus. Obviously, the Zanians are Zanus, obviously. In the south, you have Safias, Barak, the ancient Galatia city, and Cyrus. Force of Galatia. Some Zanus. Ivan, is your world a big world? No, my world's a very, very small small world. It's not a big world like Lord of the Rings. My world building is not as deep as, as the Lord of the Rings. Lord, Middle Earth is huge. You have a bunch of fucking like lands in Middle Earth, man. You have like, I don't know, 40, 50 lands in Middle Earth. Whereas me, you only have a good, like, I don't know, 12 lands, 13 lands in my book. Like, you have like 8, 9, 10 lands in my book. It's a small land, small world. I didn't want to make my world too big, otherwise it becomes too convoluted. I wanted to make my world small. I have a big, great world building, but it's not as great as Middle Earth. Middle Earth has better world building than my, than my story, obviously. But the Zayn story tops the Lord of the Rings story, so I'm saying. It's a better story than Lord of the Rings. 
It's a better story than Lord of the Rings. Yeah. So me and Peter and all of them are going to be in that room, man, just talking about that movie, man. When you the Cosmos, we're going to be talking for four and a half hours every day, five days a week about the movie. That we're prepped. And Peter knows, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to invite Peter over to my yard or my con, or we're going to watch those movies. That way he give give Peter good ideas. Okay, Peter, come over, come over, come over to my, come over to my, to my condo. I can buy you a beer and have a good six beers. We're going to watch, we're going to watch Young Messiah. That way I give, that way, that way I can give you good ideas for, for, for Young Taki. It's okay, I, we watch Young Messiah. We watch Prince of Egypt. We get some good ideas for the Axis of Saphius. When Taki is in the journey through the ancient, the ancient Gilius city and the, and the western Gilius mountains, cursed mountains, and skills of other people, you give him good ideas. Okay, Ivan, thank you. I, ha I, I now know, I now see what you're saying. I have some good idea for the, for, 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 your, for your scenes, Ivan. Yeah, that way Peter's prepped. You help him out a little bit, you know what I'm saying? But Ivan, you have to trust me. I know what I'm doing. I directed the other things. I directed Harvard. I know what I'm doing. You have to trust me. Peter, I trust you. But I need you prepped. I don't want you winging like you did for the Harvard. Don't worry about Ivan. I'll take my notes. I will study the script with you. I'll go over the script with Grand Motoro. I'll be prepped. I'll be fine, Ivan. Don't worry about it. I know what I'm doing. Yeah. Hence why you hire someone like Peter Jackson who has that experience. Has Peter Jackson has that experience of what? Handling. Peter Jackson was the boss for The Hobbit, King Kong, and Lord of the Rings. He knows what he's doing. He was producer, writer, and ex and, 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 and what? And, and director for all those three movies. Three, 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 for, for, for King Kong, Lord of the Rings, and The Hobbit. That's why I'm hiring him. Hire a guy who has that kind of experience to, 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 to help you to, to run your what? To, 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 to run your movie, obviously. Because Peter will be the boss of my movie. The only people Peter will answer to are me and VJ. But Peter will be running the movie, the whole movie on, on my behalf, obviously. Peter, hence he'll take that. I'm like, Peter, I don't have any experience running a movie project. Hence why I'm hiring you to run it for me. You know what I'm saying? I have no worry, but I know what I'm doing. I, I know the whole, Peter, I, I, I know the entire process of making a movie, man. I did King Kong, I did the Hobbit, I did the Rings, I know, I know the whole process, Ivan. You have pre-production, production, you have post-production, yes. And so, so when all the departments have questions, creative questions for designing all the sets, they're all going to come to Peter, they're not going to come to me, because Peter's the director, he'll take that, trust me. And Peter will know all the answers because he has the experience. But, but it doesn't hurt to have Guatemala Tor and Fran help him out, obviously. You can have his wife Fran help him. You have Grandma Toro help him. Yeah, guys, when you ask Peter Grandma Toro, if people come come to Peter Jackson for questions, help him out. Help him out. Yeah, I'm not help him out. I'm more than happy to help you out, Peter, too. I'll help him out. Probably a few times I'll help him out a little bit, too. I'll be there with him. They ask Peter questions, and I, I help out Peter a little bit. I help him out a little bit. I help Peter out a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I help him out a little bit. But at the end of the day, I'm going to let Peter do his thing. You have to trust him, man. I mean, Peter, I don't pay you five hundred and also slack off. I'm, I'm, I'm trusting you to run this project. I have no worry about it. I know what I'm doing. Yeah, but have someone help him. Have Guillermo Toro help him out. Have George Lucas help him out a little bit. That way he's not stressed out. Yeah, Peter, if you if you if you're stuck, Guillermo Toro is there to help you out for, for, with with the, with the creative questions. Because all the departments, all the designers. You know what I'm saying? The costume designers, the designers from all low, from all departments, obviously, they're all going to come to Peter for questions, obviously, because he's the director. If you're the director, the departments are going to come to you for questions. I remember I saw behind the scenes of Star Wars, and all the guys were coming to George Lucas for questions. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. For the concert art pictures, John Howe and all of them are going to are going to ultimately be asking Peter and Guillermo del all the questions, but me and Peter are going to be there to help them out because Peter is the director. Peter's the, because Peter and Guillermo del Toro are directors. John Haldum are going to be asking Peter the, mainly the questions, obviously. Okay, what pictures do you like, Peter? And Peter tells him what pictures he doesn't like, what pictures he likes. And now me and Vijay are there to help him out. George Lucas can help him out. Is what I'm saying? All right, are you saying, yeah, for the concert art meeting, John, I'm, I'm, John Haldum are going to mainly be asking Peter and Guillermo Toro the questions because they're, they're, they're my directors. I'm not, I'm not directing the movie, Peter. You're directing the movie, hence they're going to be asking you all the questions. He like, I have no worry about he'll Peter will know all the answers because what? Because because what? Because he, he has experience. He has that he has that level of experience. He'll take that stress off me. Peter has that 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 level of experience of, of, of what? Of being the boss of two big franchises. He knows what he's doing. Ramon Toro has that experience too. He directed movies. He knows what he's doing, obviously. So I'm saying, we'll be helping out here. But me, VJ, will be helping out Peter with, with the questions. So when I do the concert art meetings with Peter Jackson and all them in the afternoon, P 
Peter Jackson, John Hallinum are mainly going to be asking Peter all the questions. Peter and Gwemo all the questions, but me and Vigil will be helping him out a little bit with the concepts. Me and Vigil will be chilling, but if you're doing any work. And Peter will tell, he will ask, okay, Ivan, what do you think? You, what do you think? I think this pitcher is the best for the North, for the South, for, for, for the Southern Gaze Mounds, for Zanus, for Cyrus, for Cyrus, for Barak, for the Forest of Galathia, for the Valley of Blood, for the Blood Valley, for the ancient, for, for, for the ancient Galatia city, for the Great Wall, for the gardens, for the courtyard, for the castle. Elias large house. You know what I'm saying? I think this look is good for this. You know what I'm saying? You know, Peter will ask me, Ivan, what do you think? He will ask me, Ivan, what do you think of these pictures that I like? I don't know, Peter. I like this picture, but I'm not really a fan of this picture. And okay, okay, I we disagree. We, yeah, if we disagree, Peter, we can talk it over. We can talk it over. Obviously. Talk it over without we come to an agreement on what pictures we like for the world building and all the demonic characters. <laughs> for the for, for the for the wolves and the bats. The crows, the eagles. The Cursed of Ass of the South, the Holy Ass of the North. What are you thinking of? Okay, for the Holy Ass of the North, I'm thinking of something like Gandalf, Gandalf the White. These beings, they have this robe, and they have like they have beards and all stuff, and they're holy. They're holy beings, obviously. It's all I'm gonna say. I don't want to spoil so for you. And for the Cursed of Ass of the South, I'm thinking of something like like the Ring Race, except they're wolves and bats. You see what I'm saying? And they're, they're all demons. You tell John Holland the way they know. Yeah, imagine demonic beings watching in the sky, man. Look at a creepy movie, man. Look at a masterpiece. Yo, know, if you look at a masterpiece and you have all these demonic beings watching in the sky, oh, I mean, that's creepy. Yeah, you look at an amazing movie. Who you ask me? Yeah, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you look, that's why his hands will have crazy buzz, man. Crazy worldwide buzz. Yeah, man. Yeah. And that's why people have a blast. Now, Doc King's filming some of this. The docking's filming all the behind the scenes of all this. Yeah, man. The docking is filming all the behind the scenes of all this. The docking's filming, yeah. That's why Peter will have that. You're going to see Peter how happy he is in my movie compared to Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings, he looked happy, obviously, but you, you can, like, you're going to see how much more happy. Peter has that smile, that big smile on his face for Ivan's movie, and he looks a bit more depressed and stressed out for Lord of the Rings. Yeah, because he got he didn't even make as much money, man. He only made his like ten million base for Lord of the Rings. I heard he negotiated for nice pieces of profits, obviously for the gross, obviously. But don't forget, Peter was a dirty slave for Lord of the Rings. He had to do it. Peter had to do it to make his uh, two fifty million dollars. He paid a river price for that, man. Because for Ivan's movie, he made more than double what he made for Lord of the Rings, and he in free cash, and Ivan spoiled him with better perks. Limo services every day for Peter for one more than one year. Hollywood cannot afford that, man. Hollywood did not Hollywood probably spoiled Peter a little bit for Lord of the Rings, but not like not the way I'm spoiling him. Having him stay at a suite, a luxury suite, a luxury hotel for one year. Like Peter will be staying at a nice like thousand fifteen hundred dollar nice suite with a jacuzzi, a nice view of the city, everything. A nice luxury, a luxury hotel you'll be staying at, man, Peter. But a motor, Peter, George Lucas, his wife, Fran, Barry Osborne, the three consuls are all going to be staying in suites during the one year. Well, the consuls will stay for a good six months. and Because it'll only take me a good, like, six months to do consuls. Five, six months, and after that, they'll be done. And then I'll act. so after the consuls are done, so once the consuls are done, I'll do a party with John Howe. Alan Lee and all them with Peter. Around the time the script is finished, the console art should be finished. Around that time. It'll take me and Peter and them a good six months to write the three volumes of Zanus. We write every day for a good three hours. In a good five, six months, we'll finish writing the, the, the Zanus script. Our first draft. We'll be finished writing the first draft. And we're going to have to probably do two more drafts. We're going to have to go over it very carefully. But Peter will tell me, oh, Ivan, the script is good enough. We don't have to go over it. No, Peter, don't be lazy. We need to go over it again at least two more times for, for potential rewrites. Chances are I'll do some minor rewrites in some sections for, for the story. But this, because I wrote the almost perfect story, we're going to write an amazing script for, for, for Zanus. Obviously. Yeah, man, you're going to see how much harder Peter Jackson's working in my movie than he is in Lord of the Rings. You're going to see how much more happier he is, too. Yo, I've been fuck Hollywood. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna work harder for you. You pay me double more than double what I made for Lord of the Rings. I got my freedom. You're spoiling me with better perks. 
Yeah. As I told you, in Hollywood, the actors get flown commercial most of the times. Hollywood flies in privately sometimes, obviously. I saw the pictures, obviously, but it's not exclusively private like my company. My, Peter Jackson has an exclusive private flights on my, like, $300 million jet. Flown to Switzerland, flown on my jet to Vancouver, is like, for the world tour. It's all exclusive, man. Privately exclusive. The actors get their private exclusive perk, too. Being flown privately exclusively perk, too, yeah. Yeah, man. Obviously, right? Even though the Warner Bros. executives, even though the Warner Bros. New Line executives, like Bob Shea and Michael Lynn, obviously, they were the executives at the time of New Line, obviously, they own 11 million dollar mansions, just not the kind of condo I own. I own a 300 million dollar penthouse, something like Incredibles, guys. Like, you know how you go, go watch Incredibles? Remember how you saw the technology? Yeah. Think of a, a penthouse like that. A, a big condo penthouse I'm going to own on top of the roof, a 300 million dollar condo. <laughs> something unheard of, like automatic moving doors, moving walls. GPS, automatic doors, <laughs> something unheard of, like something super high tech. You know what I'm saying? My 55 million dollar yacht. I'm gonna own a nice, like 55, 60 million dollar yacht. Peter's gonna get, get the prior out with 55 million dollar yacht, yeah. Having a blast, man, yeah, man. Experience my Grand Mizzle property. Remember that Grand Mizzle picture I showed you? I just finished watching my, uh, my showing my face video. A couple hours ago. It was an amazing video, obviously. And I remember I showed you that picture. Yeah, man. I'm going to want a nice property like that. I'm going to tell the guys, look, man. I want my property to look exactly like this. So you want the trees. Yeah, if you if there's a... If it, I want you to cut all the trees. I want landscaping work all around... Done all around my property. Right, that's going to cost a lot of money. Yeah, yeah. I want it done. I want you doing that for my property. Exactly like Grand Mizzle picture. Okay, Ivan. I, and it's exactly like Grand Mizzle. Something beautiful. He was like, Ivan, this is your land. You own all this? I'm like, yeah, Peter, I own all this. I'm saying, he's like, holy shit, Ivan, this is beautiful. This is fucking nice. I'm like, yeah, Peter, it's beautiful. I'm saying, yeah. This is what much nicer than New Line's office, Warner Bros. office, and fucking Disney's office, Ivan. This is much nicer than that. Holy well, shit, Ivan, your company pulls out of the water. Yeah, it does. Obviously. Yeah. So take me and Peter... Or Mel Gibson, whoever I hire, and my two script was a good like five, six months to write the three volumes. I'm saying this. The first draft. Then we have to go over it again for a second draft, and then we have to go over it again for a third. Then once we do three drafts, it's enough. We don't have to go over it again. Unless the script is really bad, we're gonna we're gonna do more drafts. But I told you, I'm gonna write a good script for Zanus, obviously. I'm gonna write a very, very good script for Zanus. Then once I finish writing the script with Peter and all them, I'll party it up with Peter and my yacht. It'll be summertime, I'll party, I'll do a nice yacht party in my yacht. Order some pizza. Order. I don't have to order football. I'm going to have a nice party in my yacht. Me, Peter, the three cons artists, if they're still there, obviously, and what? And um, my 17, we're going to have a nice party with Peter and his wife and Barry Osborne. And Vijay's like, Ivan, you guys did it. You wrote the script. I'm like, yeah, Vijay, I wrote the script. Oh my God, Ivan, I'm so proud of you. You wrote the script, Ivan. And then Peter's like, Ivan, we wrote that script, man. The dirty work is all done. Yeah. John's like, I can't believe you wrote the script, Ivan. Yeah, we wrote the script. It's, it's done, you know what I'm saying? We wrote that. Yeah, you were a nice party, obviously. Yeah. I have a couple minutes left. Yeah, guaranteed once the concert arts are done, obviously. So once I finish the concert arts with John Hound and all of them, and, we, and, and the, the, the meetings are now over with, so once the concert arts are done, I'll no longer have to do the afternoon meetings with Peter Jackson and all of them for the concert arts. So once the concert arts are finished, and me and Peter and all of them decide what pictures we like best for, 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 for the what? For the world building, all the lands, and all of them, and all the creatures, obviously. The, the clothing and, and, and the weapons, the styles of that, once that's all done. You can send, you can party up with Alan and all them and send them home, obviously. And then me and Peter, now every afternoon, me and Peter will be going over the script. Constantly keep going over it to make sure we wrote a good script, obviously. We have to go over it again. We'll go over it with Grand Motor and Peter in my boardroom, with this, in my boardroom, every afternoon for a couple hours. We go over the whole script. It'll take us a good, maybe, I don't know, three weeks to go over the whole script. To, to go over the whole 400 pages a couple weeks. So in a good like month and a half, we'll, 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 we'll be able to do the three, 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 two, two more drafts for the script, going over it two more times. It won't take that long. 
obviously. But guaranteed, once all the pitchers, we decide what pitchers we want for the for the demonic wolves and bats and the wolverine, Peter will be like, holy shit, Ivan. We just shook the wolf. This movie's going to have crazy worldwide buzz, Ivan. Like, really, Ivan? I'm like, my peer, I'm like, peer, is the script good? Is the script, is, 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 is the what? Is the script good? You know what I'm saying? Is the script, is, 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 is the script solid? You know what I'm saying? Peter Jackson's like, Ivan, I wrote Lord of the Rings. I wrote The Hobbit. This is a fucking good quality script, Ivan. This is just as good as my Lord of the Rings script, Ivan. Are you sure? Like, I, your Lord of the Rings script was really good. No, Ivan, your script is just as good as Lord of the Rings, if not better, Ivan. You wrote, we wrote an amazing script. And because I'm creative... And Peter has a brilliant mind, and John Favreau never only had a brilliant mind, or the Rooster Brothers. I'm gonna write an amazing script for his answer, obviously. Look at an amazing script. Just as good as his Lord of the Rings script. If not better. Look at amazing. I don't know if it'll be better. It's very tough to top that. But it'll be probably just as good as his Lord of the Rings script. Yo, Ivan, this is just as good as my Lord of the Rings script. This is a masterpiece, Ivan. Look at an amazing script, Ivan. I know what I'm, we know trust me, I know what I'm doing, Ivan. You wrote a good script. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And then he'll he'll ask me, like, you know what I'm saying? You know, he'll, 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 he'll tell me, yeah, Ivan, we just shook the world. You're looking at, Ivan, if you apply 985 and all towards this kind of warbling, 400 and all towards special effects, and like 30 and all towards sepaling, Ivan, and your IMAX cameras, you're looking at something better than Pandora, Ivan, really? I'm like, yeah, remember how Pandora looked amazing, Ivan? Think something better than that for your movie, Ivan. For the North, the South, the Animal Kingdom, of the South, the Human Kingdom, of the North, that's something amazing, Ivan. He's like, you're looking at action scenes as better than my Lord of the Rings movie, better than even Helm's Deep. Remember Helm's Deep, Ivan? Yeah, I remember that, Peter. Yeah. Think of action scenes as better than that, a war better than that, Ivan. In my opinion, Helm's Deep is the best war in movie history. I don't think anything will top that. That was an amazing war, Helm's Deep. Ivan, you're looking at action scenes as better than Helm's Deep. Really? You really, Peter? Yeah. You're looking at action scenes as better than Helm's Deep. He's like, Ivan, we just shook the world. I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, Ivan, I've worked in this industry for 40 years now. You know what I'm saying? Never have I seen anything like this. You're looking at demons and devils, Ivan. Aerotech and them are going to make my ring race and orcs look good. I'm like, really? Yeah, Ivan. Remember those ring race and fellas ring, how they're creepy? Yeah, I remember that. They were creepy. Yeah, remember my orc high in, in two towers? Yeah. Ivan, Aerotech are going to make the... Once you see Aerotech and them, they're going to make these beings look good, Ivan. You're looking at demons, Ivan. Really? How scary? Ivan, like, so scary, the world might cry for you and your you and your actors. I might work... We might cry for your actors. John Fowley, yeah, Ivan, like... Eric and them are way too scary. Like, we might cry for you and the men, Ivan. You might cry for yourself, Ivan. You're looking at the devil himself, Ivan. You're looking at demons. This is a revolution of horror, Ivan. Never have... Ivan, I think... People are like, Ivan, I think you, you should tone it down a little bit, man. This is way too scary. This is far too scary, Ivan. Kids can't watch this. I'm like, Peter, I know what I'm doing. If you have Eric and the devil, you're going to get a better movie. I know what I'm doing. He's like, Ivan, you're looking at demons, Ivan. Like, Eric and them are going to be walking devils, Ivan. Ivan, Ivan, Ivan... Ivan. You want Aerotat and them, you, Ivan, this concert art picture gives me goosebumps. And you're going to create those professional, unheard of masks based off these concerts. That's already freaky enough. The mask is so scary and caution that if that were in your room, you wouldn't be able to sleep. And you're applying $400 towards that fucking demonic mask and caution. Why are you looking at demons, Ivan? Walking devils and demons. With all the rings, we only apply like $25, $30 towards special effects. And those orc high look like that. You can only imagine how scary Earth and we're going to be, Ivan. You're putting $400 worth of special. You're looking at demons, Ivan. Walking devils and demons. Ivan, this movie's going to have crazy buzz, man. You just shook the world, Ivan. We just shook the world. I'm like, yeah, people, we just shook the world. Yeah, man. And that's why his answer with the best horse told the most in picture. Yeah, man. Barry and even his Lord of the Rings. By a slim margin, it'll be very, very close. Because Lord of the Rings is very, very hard to top, man. And so I, I saw Two Towers twice a couple months ago. I saw Fellowship of the Ring. I'm not really a fan of watching Return of the King, but I might perhaps watch it when I get my paycheck. Even though Lord of the Rings is a masterpiece, it's not as good as Zane. And Zane's will beat it up by some margin. But Lord of the Rings is what? Is, will, be, will be very, very close to, uh, to Zane's. You're looking at a masterpiece. Zane's will be the best fantasy story ever told in Muslim Benjamin. Look at an amazing story, yeah, man. Hey, it was different this video. I'm going to watch this video before you guys, and you guys will see my videos hours later. I'm going to I'm signing out. Peace.